Hello friends, Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, your wicked chef. If it's your first time watching me here on YouTube, below, click on subscribe. All the latest videos are going to be sent directly to you as soon as they go live. And speaking about videos and recipes, look what we're doing today. I've got some salted cod in that bowl there and a lot of nice vegetables. We're doing something a little bit different. It's called a saltfish stir fry. You're going to love it. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, let's get cooking. I've got my wok here on a medium heat. Couple tablespoons of vegetable oil, any sort of oil which can withstand high heat. And since my wok is already warm, in goes three quarter cups of salted codfish. As we've explained in the past, the salted cod is boiled in water, drained, rinsed, and then shredded as I did here. Well, I have it in sort of big chunks. Um, and the reason why we would do that is to remove most of the salt from the salted fish. Um, it will be very salty, so make sure you boil the salt fish in water, rinse it, and then shred it. Immediately, we're gonna toss in a chopped up onion, and this is a medium onion that I have. Just let that sweat for about a minute or so. Next up, I've got here a couple sprigs of fresh thyme. I'm just gonna break the leaves off there. And in the Caribbean, we love using fresh thyme, so this will not be anything new for you guys. I'm just gonna grate in a little bit of fresh ginger in there as well. And less than a quarter of a teaspoon or so. And we're gonna hit it with some fresh ground black pepper. Give that a quick stir. Then I'm going to toss in some bell peppers. About a cup and a half. Whatever colors you have, feel free to use it. These colors are nice and vibrant. As well as some julienne carrots. Give that a quick stir. If you're wondering what the exact amounts of everything that I'm adding in here in the description below, I will have all the amounts for you. Additionally, you can check out CaribbeanPod.com and that's where I'm going to have the recipe uh, posted as well. The whole idea is to soften up these vegetables a little bit. If you want a nice little crunch to it, just a little bit of body to it. Next up, I've got... Um, Next up, we're going to add some chopped up scotch bonnet pepper, and that is only about a quarter of a pepper. You will notice me handling this with my hands. Be sure, I mean I say, I'm a hot pepper specialist. Be sure to wear gloves or wash your hands with soap and water directly after. In goes a teaspoon of soy sauce, as well as two cups of chopped up cabbage. You'll notice we won't be using any salt in this dish and the reason for that is because the salted fish that we use as well as the soy sauce will have enough salt in there to flavor this perfectly. Just gonna continue stirring that up, give that another minute and then we're gonna add a chopped up scallion to it. In goes the chopped up scallion now. Turn off the heat so you see in about less than five minutes we have a lovely salt fish stir fry ready to go. Woo! Kitchen smelling wicked. Just look at those beautiful colors. Boy, oh boy, it smells good in here. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, guys. I hope you give this salt fish stir fry a try. You're going to love it. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure to have you here in the kitchen with me. Remember to check out CaribbeanPod.com for all those delicious Caribbean recipes. And do tell your friends about the stuff we're doing here. Have a great day. Always a pleasure to have you here with me.